morning students uh, this is your dandabani going to take an interesting topic from the unit 4 named nuclear accidents and holocaust uh, right now i want to remind you a quote from albert einstein uh, he stated nuclear power is one hell of a way to boil water yes of course we are using the nuclear power to generate electricity through the process of boiling water and it is uh, truly a hell of a way so we have to be very careful while handling the nuclear fuel and we have to be very careful while disposing the nuclear fuel so this topic will gives the clear picture of this nuclear content and the how the fuel has to be maintained and how the nuclear dispose uh, uh, nuclear waste has to be disposed properly so let me proceed with the topic nuclear energy we have to know first about the nuclear energy the two uh video shows that the first one is a nuclear fission reaction and second one is a nuclear fusion reaction uh while the processing of these two reaction there will be the production of enormous amount of heat energy and the energy is called as nuclear energy with the result of some neutrons the nuclear energy is clean and safe uh, but we have to handle these things very carefully and we have to dispose the nuclear waste very carefully then only it will be clean and safe so through this process we are obtaining the nuclear energy to produce the electricity uh, so we have to know about these things second one how the nuclear accidents are happened while uh, from the accident there will be the release of enormous amount of nuclear energy and radioactive pollutants to the atmosphere and it will cause a very serious hazards to the human beings and as well as it will cause very serious problems on environment though these accidents result in such types of problems to our human community so we have to be very careful and we have to be uh, very aware about such types of things next the types of nuclear accidents i am going to explain the five types first one is nuclear test Uh, it will be uh, considered as a one of a nuclear accident of course the explosions carried out in underground uh, maybe the nuclear after the explosion there will be settling down the radioactive materials because of the explosion uh, in the earth surface or in the atmosphere there will be some pollutants so it will be considered one or one of the nuclear accident second one nuclear power plant accidents the release of radiation occurs during the a uh, power plant accidents uh, sometimes these types of nuclear power plants may be constructed in seismic vulnerable area and which result in the these types of accidents third one improper disposal of radioactive wastes it is another source of accident if the radioactive wastes has stored in the underground through drums or uh, steel cans containers if they get rusted means there will be some leakages possible from the radioactive material in the water or in the land or in the air so there will be the radioactivity leakage through the improper disposal of the radioactive waste as also causes nuclear accident fourth one accident during transport the trucks carrying the radioactive waste as or fuels involved in accident means immediately there will be the radioactive emission from that and fifth one core meltdown uh, from this uh, picture you can see that it is a nuclear core uh, from the nuclear reactor sometimes during the enormous amount of uh, heat production in the core the materials get meltdown and it will cause a serious problem and sometimes it may get exploded uh, this instant we, we can remind that from the ukraine country uh, the chernobyl nuclear power plant has get exploded which caused a huge amount of destruction in that country in the year of 1986 uh, during the early morning time i think around 4:20 am so the major huge destruction caused in the chernobyl still now we remaining those types of accidents next the effect of nuclear radiation of course we are having a huge amount of effects because of this radiation the first one these radioactive emissions will break the chemical bonds present in the uh, dna of our human cells of course it may affect instantaneous or maybe uh, delayed types it may even carry to future generations that we can uh, tell that as genetic mutations and second one if we subjected for the low dose of radiation a uh, nearly 100 to 250 radiation dose we may be suffer from the fatigue vomiting or hair loss if we are subjected to high radiation means it will affects the blood cells and the blood clotting capacity it may 
the radiation may be around 400 to 500 radiation dose uh, if we are subjected to very high radiation uh, when compared to to the low dose and the higher dose the if the radiation dose level will be more than 10000 means uh, it will uh, damage the tissues of the heart and brain which uh, immediately leads to the kills of organism and the human beings and it is a quite important and uh, interesting topic nuclear holocaust uh, if some nuclear war will happen means the if once a nuclear bomb get exploded it will destroy the entire biodiversity by those nuclear equipments or nuclear bombs in a holocaust a large number of living beings are totally destroyed uh, usually these types of destructions are happened during the time of nuclear war and it will cause uh, two more effects further the first one effect is known as nuclear winter the nuclear winter is a quite interesting topic and i will explain and i need your focus uh, during this explanation during the nuclear explosions a process of known as opposite to global warming will occur this is called a nuclear winter after if once a nuclear explosion will happen in a particular place if there there is a reversible process of global warming ultimately the temperature get down to the freezing temperature and will this picture will give us a clear explanation of a nuclear winter i will explain very clearly uh, if nuclear bombardment will cause a combustion of wood plastics petroleum forest etc whatever present in the land surface it will get combusted when the large quantity of quantity of black soot will be carried to the stratosphere you just think over it if i zoom the picture there will be the huge mass of black soot will absorb all radiations from the solar, uh, sunlight and it will not allow any radiation to reach the earth therefore there will be the result of cooling inside this black soot so due to this cooling effect water evaporation will also reduce so the black soot present in the stratosphere so there will not be any possibility of rainfall because this black soot uh, reduces the significant moisture present in the uh, stratosphere due to these types of explosion there is a possibility of reversible global warming so that the result in the uh, resulting uh, nuclear winter okay fine the effect of nuclear winter obviously it lowers the global temperature even in the summer temperature it will reaches around freezing temperature if the explosion is happened the nuclear winter is result the crop productivity will be uh, reduced uh, causing a famine and uh, sufferings of human and second effect of this nuclear holocaust it ignite all the combustible material and destroy all living beings material uh, crushing a destruction of homes whatever it is entirely get destructed so i want to uh, remind you the examples of nuclear holocaust the first nuclear war one which was happened in japan hiroshima and nagasaki and second one in the country of ukraine the chernobyl disaster if you are interested you can uh, give me the case study of these two nuclear disaster whether it is in hiroshima and nagasaki or it is about the chernobyl disaster and finally i want to thank a big atomic thank you because this nuclear accident and holocaust will give you the picture of how the radiation radioactivity will affect uh, suffers the human beings and how it destroys the biodiversity and the entire thing uh, thanks for your patience and thanks for listening thank you so much